Tugofo match is going on. E, e. Now you know what? In this Tugofo match between me and me, <laughs> we, are, we are opposite to each other. There is no motion, there is no movement. How much ever I'm pulling from here, the same pull is from here. So from my perspective, I'm doing a lot of work. But actually, from a physics point of view, I'm doing no work. The reason, reason, work is said to be done when there is displacement. When there is no displacement, the work done is said to be zero. I am holding 100 kilos luggage on my head and I'm stationary. Look, it's, it's 100 kgs. My head is bursting. So I am just carrying it and I'm not moving at all. No displacement, zero work. So it's useless. So I will say work this chapter on work, energy and power. The first pointer, work is said to be done only when there is displacement. If there is no displacement, work is zero. So the first pointer, work is done only when a body displaces. Fine. Uh, second pointer, talking about the formula for work. Okay, the work has its formula F into S. F stands for force, the magnitude of force and S stands for the displacement. So if I happen to define the amount of work done, the amount of work done is equal to the product of the force and the displacement in the direction of the applied force. If I am playing cricket and I hit a ball in that direction, the force in which, the, the direction in which I apply the force, the displacement of the bat, the displacement of the ball shall be in the same direction, provided there is no top edge or bottom edge if you play cricket. So come on guys, can I say work, amount of work is equal to the product. Whose product? Force and displacement, but in the direction of applied force. That's the amount of work done. From here, can I say, work depends on how many factors? Two factors. Two factors. Force, displacement. More the force, more is the work, more the coverage, more the area covered, more the body displaces itself, more is the work done. So can I say, work is directly proportional to force and displacement. Now, if I talk about the SI unit, remember guys, force is measured in Newton. Displacement is measured in meter. We won't say that work is measured in Newton meter. We will say that the work is measured in Joule, right? This is the SI unit of work. And the CGS unit of work is ERG. Always remember that. Talking about the quantity which it belongs to. Force is a vector quantity. Displacement is also a vector quantity. A vector into vector, it gives me a scalar quantity. So work is a scalar quantity. It does not require any direction. Come on, do some work. Okay, do some work. Get up from that seat. Go jogging. You won't ask me, sir, which direction I'll go jogging. You'll just get up and go jogging. Yeah? Just, just move yourself. Get your ass up from there. Right? It's very simple. So I can see that work is a scalar quantity. It does not need any direction. It needs only magnitude, force, value, right? Digits. That's what I am interested in. So we spoke about the work, the amount of work, the SI unit, the CGS unit, the definition and the quantity which work is. All right. If I talk more about work, um, actually, this formula now, work is Fs, is an incomplete formula. The actual formula should have been this. Work is Fs cos theta. So I can say, now where did this formula come from? The derivation is not there in the syllabus. However, I'll just tell you one simple thing. 
let's say there is a slope there is a hill uh, there is a body out here okay the body is out here if I do one thing you apply the force on the body in this direction horizontal direction try sometimes take a book or a slope right take a small object with the help of your finger you push the object ahead not up straight ahead the object will be displaced in upward direction trust me it will happen so guys the force is in the horizontal direction the displacement is an in inclined direction inclined at some angle and that angle that angle is given by theta so what exactly is theta theta is the angle between between the displacement and the force so i can say the work done by a body actually actually depends upon three factors it depends upon the magnitude of force the displacement and the cosine come on the actual word is cosine of the angle cosine of the angle between displacement and force now you will say sir then why did we write this formula out here shouldn't we have written this from the start of course you could have but remember when a body travels in a horizontal direction for instance forget about horizontal direction check this this is a body i apply force it moves straight if the force and the displacement are in the same direction then i will say that both are in the same direction they are parallel they are overlapping yep then the angle made between them is zero degrees so from that the next concept comes into a connection hold on i am trying to get a relation between this formula and this formula i'm trying to connect them just hold on so my case number one as i said case one when force and displacement are in the same direction same direction parallel to each other straight i will say that the angle theta is zero degrees sorry yeah. there is no angle between them so if you substitute this into the formula i shall get w is equal to f s cos zero in mathematics trigonometry cos zero the value is one so i'll be very 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 accurate and i'll say plus fs to be precise this we call it as positive work right now if force and displacement are in the opposite direction okay i have some luggage on my head the luggage yeah that's the force acts in vertically downward direction but i lift it up i lift it up the displacement is in the upward direction the force of the luggage the weight the force acts downwards i lift it up displacement is upwards can i say the force and the displacement are in the opposite direction yeah exactly exactly so case number two guys force and displacement in opposite direction and if they are in the opposite direction the angle theta between them is 180 degrees substitute into the formula so work is equals to fs cos 180 that is going to be w is equal to fs into minus 1 cos 180 value is negative 1 yes please remember this so being very precise with my wordings work is minus fs and this is said to be negative work when both are in the opposite direction so fine fine listen i just came to a conclusion a connectivity between both of them can i say w is equal to fs w is equal to fs that means this formula which i had written few minutes back actually is an assumption an assumption that the force and the displacement are in the same direction that's why we got the formula and the last one, zero.